this is a fresh new year just finished celebrating the holidays with martin and claire they've been taking care of my older brother and i since my brother was three months old and now that they are getting older we are taking care of them i hope this year is better the last couple of years has been very very tough just got the news that schools are shutting down and now everyone's panicking and people are buying all the goddamn toilet paper in existence my friend really needs toilet paper she only has a couple roll left pretty ironic timing i feel bad for her oh yeah and this proves that most people will never survive a zombie apocalypse Interim was a nightmare. Some teachers were not prepared, had a physics exams that every question only had an input for the answer, but didn't ask for any proof. So it was either full marks or zero for every question based on a number. Fun! I was supposed to start a summer internship, but it got delayed. I guess I'm stuck doing more online classes, but could be worse. Finished another trimester at home. Been studying in my room nonstop. I really miss my friends, but it's for the best. Summer break is ending. Didn't do much because of the pandemic, honestly. Been watching anime. I'm excited yet nervous to start my internship next week. According to HR, I'm going to be working remotely for obvious reasons. Martine has not been feeling well recently. Um, she's also afraid to go to the hospital, but we might not have a choice. So my brother is going to drive her to the emergency room. Martine is still feeling under the weather, um, but they didn't find anything in particular. Main culprit seems to be stressed, um, so she has to go back for some tests just in case. Um, she can't seem to hold a meal though. Um, so I've been cooking her a nice soup so she doesn't have to worry about food. Woken up by a phone call. That's weird. What does my brother want? Oh, apparently Martin fell down and he's asking me to check up on her. He's also on his way. Um, no time to brush my teeth or anything. We gotta go. Turning the corner, uh, I see the ambulance. She must be okay. They're gonna take her pressure per usual and say she's okay. I hope everything's fine. The neighbor in informs me of her, of her passing. I don't get it. How? Why? She was fine yesterday. How is this possible? They couldn't find anything at the hospital. What if, what if, what if I checked up on her sooner? Maybe, just maybe I could have saved her. Accompanying Claire to the hospital since Martin was her caregiver, um, we have to follow the paramedics' procedures. And she wouldn't be able to climb the stairs to go to our place, so we don't have a choice. She has to go to the hospital. Felt like the longest day of my life. I feel empty. Still can't grasp what happened kind of keep hoping that someone like anyone would just jump out and yell it was just a prank and kind of just wish today was a dream well a nightmare i dreamt that she came back home um that she was still here that the paramedics were wrong but it was just my own delusion. Yesterday happened. Just a lifeless blob on my bed, 
I don't know what to do anymore. Um, we would usually go see her and Clara to cook them dinner. Um, keep thinking that if I could sell a kidney to bring her back, I would. If I had to sign my soul to the devil, I would. Um, but I can't bring her back. She won't be back. She will never be back. First day of my internship, um, just trying to be strong. Um, don't show the sadness, okay? Starting to play Among Us with some college friends every Sunday. Um, it's fun. Gets my mind off things. Um, probably the highlight of my week, to be honest. Um, I get to feel less alone and sad. Internships going well. Um, occasionally crying, but that's normal, I guess. Good thing that I'm working from home. Claire is finally uh, going to be transferred to a residence for the elderly. Because of everything, visits are limited, but my brother and I are considered her caregivers now, so we can go visit her. Um, she needs the care and support. The grief is still here, um, still can't accept it. I keep thinking about her. Uh, but we have been visiting Claire every day. Um, the nurse are starting to know us and noticing our frequent visits. Claire's thinking about the holidays. And we've always been celebrating Christmas with them. I've been crying every time um, I've been visiting her, so... It's a good thing her vision's not the best. I wouldn't want to make the grieving harder on her. She feels lonely, but we're trying our best to visit her every day. There's a COVID case in Claire's building, so to be safe, we're switching to phone calls two times a day. Starting to visit again, um, should be safe. My brother is starting to decorate her room and I'm planning her Christmas cards. Only have two weeks to my internship, impress my lead, and he basically said I was welcome back to the company uh, and that I exceeded his expectations. Also, since the Christmas decorations, Claire's mood has improved a lot. Things are going well. Claire has a fever. To be on the safe side, we will return to phone calls. Protocols are good in the building, plus we only leave the house to see her, so can't be COVID. She is um, COVID positive, our worst fear. I was the last to see her in our family, so I'm more at risk. Currently I have no symptoms, but we're so worried. Family road trip to the testing clinic. You can never be too safe. Since we never go outside, it's more likely that she got it from a nurse. Especially since we were calling instead of visiting. Just got home. My dad thinks that we'll lose her because she's 88. But my brother and I are trying to stay more optimistic can't sleep, very worried, been crying, afraid to lose someone else so soon, panicking, uh, my mind's running wild. We were going to bring her gifts and food from the holidays and we were supposed to be happy, things were getting better. Why now? Why her? Why? What if someone gets it in our family? What if we gave it to her? What if she dies? What if we killed her? Please don't take her away from us, please. Our tests all came back negative. At least we didn't give it to her. Her condition is good. She only has a slight cough. Her fever's gone. We are 
hopeful that she will recover fine. Just finished my internship, saying goodbye felt weird, pretty bittersweet. I love my time at the company and the project. Also, got good news. Claire has been recovering and hasn't had symptoms in a while. Every time we get to talk with her, she keeps mentioning that she's lonely. Not being able to see her breaks my heart, especially that the holidays are so soon. She is all better. We can visit her now, just in time for Christmas. So I've been planning the cooking for the holidays. Pretty much a quarantine holiday, but that's fine. It's gonna be our first holiday celebrating just our family. Christmas Eve, cooking non-stop for the family dinner and we're cooking our first turkey ever. Woke up crying, thinking about her. Um, the pain's still here and it will last a long time. I hope everything gets better. Um, can't wait to start 2021. Been baking a cake to celebrate the new year. This year was pretty bad. Many of us are grieving. So if you're watching this and you're affected by the events of this year, you are not alone. We have lost over a million people and this is not including people that has passed from other causes. One loss affects many. So please be mindful of others. Your actions affect other people. And in a global pandemic, we need to help each other. Please follow the recommendation of medical professionals. I know it's not easy to talk about serious topic with others. Every time I have a friend message me, what's up? I'm hit with a wave of sadness because so many things have happened. But I'm unable to express my feelings. Um, Therefore, I put on a fake smile and say, not much. If you're depressed, you're not alone. Um, pretty sure 2020 gave uh, everyone depression. But we will get through this together. So stay safe and stay inside. <laughs>